वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड व्यूवर्स टुडे आई विल सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन इन दिस स्नैरियो वी विल बी यूजिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर ट्रेडिशनल फार्मूला वोल्टेज मल्टीप्लाई बाय करंट एंड वी आल्सो विल बी यूजिंग पैसिव साइन कन्वेंशन थ्योरी अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थ्योरी एलिमेंट विद नेगेटिव पावर विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज पावर सप्लायर एंड एन एलिमेंट विद पॉजिटिव पावर विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज पावर एब्जॉर्बर फर्स्ट रीड द स्नैरियो दिस स्नैरियो इज गिवन इन टू पार्ट पार्ट ए इन फिगर वन पॉइंट टू सेवन ए दिस इज द फिगर पी वन इज थर्टी सिक्स वाट द एलिमेंट वन हैव थर्टी सिक्स वाट इज एलिमेंट टू एब्जॉर्बिंग और सप्लाइंग पावर एंड हाउ मच In part B, in figure one point two seven B, this is the figure. P two is minus forty eight watt. Element two power is minus forty eight watt. Is element one absorbing or supplying power, and how much? Now, if you focus on this scenario, the author has given the powers, and he has not mentioned either. the powers are being absorbed or supplied so we have to use our previous knowledge to identify either this elements and this element are supplying or absorbing power we will use our key concepts that if the power is positive it will be considered as power is being absorbed and if the power is negative it will be considered as power is being supplied so without wasting time let's proceed towards solution part a element 1 is absorbing 36 watt because of its positive magnitude this is the element and it is taking 36 watt so in order to calculate the power of element 2 we should have voltage and current as well and in this circuit current is not indicated but we have power as well as voltage across this element so we can use the power basic formula to calculate current through this and because this is the series circuit uh, whatever the current is flowing through this element same current will be flowing through this element so we can calculate the power of this element as well after knowing the current through this element 1 power across this element is 36 watt and this element is absorbing power because of its positive magnitude we know that if any element is absorbing power the current will be passing through its positive terminal and leaving through its negative terminal so the current direction will be in this way current will be entering from positive terminal of element 1 and leaving from negative terminal of element 1 similarly this same current will be entering to positive terminal of element 2 and leaving from negative terminal of element 2 let's calculate the current through this loop using power basic formula voltage multiplied by current we have voltage across this element we also have power across this element we can calculate the current through this element which is power divided by voltage equal to 3 ampere now this 3 ampere will also passing through this element 2 in same direction because of series connection so now we have current through this element voltage are also present across this element we can calculate the power of this element as well current is entering 3 ampere and the power of this element will be voltage 6 multiplied by current through it 3 ampere and the power will be 18 watt and now we have to judge either power is being absorbed or supplied by this element 2 in our case the element 2 will be absorbing power because its power 
मैग्नीट्यूड इज पॉजिटिव नाउ प्रोसीड टुवर्ड्स पार्ट बी एलिमेंट बी इज सप्लाइंग पावर फोर्टी एट वाट एंड हाउ वी गेट नॉलेज ऑफ दिस जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द माइनस साइन विद दिस पावर सो पावर ऑफ एलिमेंट टू इज फोर्टी एट वाट एंड इट इज सप्लाइंग फोर्टी एट वाट नाओ सेम स्नैरियो विल बी रिवाइज वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द पावर ऑफ एलिमेंट वन and we have only voltage across this element if we know the current through this element we can calculate its power if we calculate the current of element 2 same current will be passing through element 1 and uh, for the calculation of current for element 2 we also have data power as well as voltage we can calculate the current through element 2 using power formula and entering the values of power and voltage we got minus 2 ampere minus 48 watt is being supplied by this element 2 and voltage across this element is 24 so the current will be minus 2 ampere now this same current will be passing through this element 1 also because of series connection and the direction of this current will be this indicated by blue arrows now there is a question how we judged the direction of current uh, again the element 2 is supplying power and we know that in case of supplying power through an element the current should leave from positive terminal of that element and enter from negative terminal of that element so in element 2 the current direction will be leaving from positive terminal and entering from negative terminal and same direction will also imply on element 1 our final current direction through this circuit will be this now collecting data for the calculation of power of element 1 we have voltage across this element and current as well current is 2 ampere multiplying this voltage with this current voltage across element 1 and current through element 1 the power will be 12 watt because this power is positive so we will take it as power is being absorbed by element 1 Thank you see you in next video